What's going on guys, my name is Carve Techademics and today I'm going to show you how you can download and install your ASRock uh, motherboard drivers and utility drivers in a few minutes. So it's really easy, the first thing you want to do is go to your web browser and you want to type in ASRock App Shop and it should be the first link at the top, there will also be a link in the description in case you want to go straight there. Um, so it brings you to a page that looks like this and what you want to do really is go down and you want to see if your motherboard supports it in the first place. So to check that you want to go to the bottom search bar here, type in CMD. Now there will be a command that will also be pasted in the description. Uh, you just want to copy and paste that into the CMD and it's basically going to come up with your serial number. Uh, sorry not your serial number, your motherboard number. Uh, so I've got the ASRock 978G3.1 so to quickly find this here all I'm going to do is press Control F and I'm going to type in 970A so here it's listed right at the top and as you can see it's definitely compatible with my version of Windows and although it doesn't actually show Windows 10 um, if, it's, if Windows 8 and 8.1 is ticked so basically the last three or four shall I say uh, and it's basically definitely going to be compatible with your type of windows so you want to close that and we want to go to the top and it's basically going to show you what it is so it's basically a software that makes downloading drivers super easy so you want to click on this download button at the top and it's going to give you a WinRAR file okay so once you've downloaded and installed the software you basically want to go and open it up so I'm going to type in AppSharp and it basically it can take a while sometimes you just have to press yes, it's going to ask you permission to open it. Okay, so if it doesn't open up automatically, you just want to click on this arrow down here and you want to double click on the app shop. So straight away, as soon as you open it up, it's going to look like this. So obviously, you're going to get a lot of software that's, um, that you can download as well. But don't worry about this first page, you want to click on BIOS and drivers. First thing you want to do is go to this icon up here. So you want to click on that and that's automatically going to search for new BIOS and driver updates. So I've already done them all already, so mine are all up to date. Um, apart from this app charger, um, so you're going to get a list of updates. What you want to do is click on what you want to update and then you want to click on updates down here. Uh, in this case I don't want to do that because I've already updated everything and I don't want this app charger. Um, you can go into your settings as well and you can make it auto run at desktop and you can search for updates for the app as well. Um, but it's easy as that so your computer may restart a few times after downloading the new drivers um, but that's basically how you update all your BIOS and drivers automatically. So if this video was useful please leave a like and send it to someone that may find it useful as well and it would definitely help me out too. Um, so thanks for watching and I shall see you in the next video.